There are commands to create conics, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola, but they are hit by default. I'll use the command finder and demonstrate creating an ellipse. You are first prompted to find the center of the ellipse. I'll accept the point at the center of the datum coordinate system. You then simply enter values for the semi-major and semi-minor axes. The start and end angles, 0 and 360, create a complete ellipse. And a rotation angle. I'll click OK to create the ellipse. The dialog remains displayed as it is a legacy dialog. Click Cancel. Notice that no feature is created. This command does not create an associative feature. It is recommended to create an ellipse inside a sketch. I'll undo the ellipse I created, then create a sketch on the XY plane of the datum coordinate system. The ellipse command is available in a, in a sketch, and a modern dialog displays here. I'll pick the center of the datum coordinate system and define the same parameters for the ellipse. I'll also enter a rotation angle, as I'd like to control it, and I find it easier to constrain the ellipse this way. Now to constrain it. I'll begin by creating two lines to represent the semi-minor and semi-major axes, carefully picking a quadrant point and the center of the ellipse. Notice the perpendicular constraint. I'll define the dimension values and convert the lines to reference. I'll create an angular dimension for the rotation. Notice that one more constraint constraint is needed. The reference lines are not coincident with the quadrant points, so the ellipse will rotate unpredictably if I change the angle. To fully constrain the ellipse, I'll pick the line representing the semi-major axis and the ellipse itself, then click to define a parallel constraint. It seems odd, but it works.